Hi, this is Josh Marshall from TPM Media. It's Thursday, August 16th, 2007. You know that Mitt Romney is probably the biggest phony in the 2008 presidential race. It also turns out that he seems to be remarkably ignorant of the country's foreign policy. In fact, he seems to follow the Bush policy of, I'd, I'd prefer to lose the war rather than hear any facts that might help me win it. Now, we actually found a really good example of this from an interview that Romney did with Fox News goof Sean Hannity on Tuesday night. He talks about Barack Obama's recent statements about the war in Afghanistan and how allegedly his statements were so terribly outrageous and so on and so forth. Take a look. All right, one of the big controversies emerging today are the comments of Barack Obama. And I want to play this for our audience because I think this is very critical. He's now made a number of misstatements in the last number of days. But let's roll this tape about what he had to say about our troops air raiding villages and killing civilians. So we've got to get the job done there. And that requires us to have enough troops that we're not just air raiding villages and killing civilians, which is causing enormous problems there. What's your reaction to that, Governor? Uh, it's an extraordinary statement, a disappointing statement. Um, he's now, uh, how many times, three or four or five times, said things that he must badly uh, uh, recognize as, as being a huge error, uh, bad misstatements. I think he's, in, in some respects, shown that he, he, he just hasn't given his, uh, his words careful enough thought. And uh, I think it's dispiriting to our troops. It is disrespectful of our troops to say such a thing. Uh, I, you know, the, the only people who say things like that are, are, are people on the uh, well, let me ask you this on the other side of this issue because America is not going to turn left America is not going to say that we're going to abandon our support of our troops the comments he's made have gone beyond the idea of look we have different views about what to do in Iraq they go to the foundation of whether we support our troops and and stand behind our military what he what he said in this latest round I, I hope he apologizes for and says it was a misstatement he has to do that otherwise what he's letting stand is a suggestion that somehow our, our troops are not noble and dignified I mean it's a it's an outrageous thing and, and, I, and I have to anticipate he's going to retreat from it. Is it something he, he's got to back away from? Of course. I, I can't help but believe it was a misstatement that he has to have said uh, to himself after it was over, my gosh, did I say that? He's got to apologize for it or, or at least say it was a misstatement. Right. Look, we all make mistakes and, and, mis and misstatements. So this is really terrible and outrageous. You've got this inexperienced Barack Obama saying how U.S. soldiers and airmen in Afghanistan are killing innocent civilians bad-mouthing the troops and so forth, and it's terrible, and he has to apologize. Well, what is Mitt Romney talking about? Apparently, Romney isn't familiar with what the President of the United States thinks, commanders on the ground in Afghanistan think, and the President of Afghanistan himself, who has made a big point of this recently, saying that too many civilians are dying in coalition air raids. Now, if you look at what Obama was saying in that clip, what he's saying is, is the U.S. does not have enough troops in Afghanistan to do the job, and what it's limited to is the kind of raids from the air and stuff like that that kill civilians but don't actually do the job that we need them to do, which is to support the Karzai government and get Afghanistan on the road to being a stable, vibrant democracy at some point in the future. Now, is this Barack Obama just making this up? No. Listen to what the president of Afghanistan, Hamid Karzai, says. Now, at the beginning of May of this year, President Karzai actually requested a meeting with NATO and U.S. officials to protest the high rate of casualties in these raids. And here's what he said. Civilian deaths and arbitrary decisions to search people's houses have reached an unacceptable level, and Afghans cannot put up with it any longer. The intention is very good in these operations to fight terrorism. Sometimes mistakes have been made as well, but five years on, it is very difficult for us to continue to accept civilian casualties. We can no longer accept civilian casualties the way they occur. It is not understandable anymore. So President Karzai is our ally in Afghanistan. He's really the linchpin of our entire policy in the country. And clearly, the rate of civilian casualties is putting him under a lot of pressure. What Barack Obama is saying is that if we have more troops in the country, we won't have to take this arm's length approach, which is leading to a lot of unnecessary civilian deaths. Now, it turns out that President Karzai was in the United States earlier this month, and he raised this issue with President Bush, who seemed to be in agreement with him. Here's some video of that exchange. First, I fully understand uh, the angst, the agony, and the sorrow that Afghan citizens feel when an innocent life is lost. 
I know that must cause grief in villages and heartbreak in homes. And therefore, uh, we've spent some time talking about the President ex rightly expressed his concerns about uh, civilian casualty, and I assured him that we share those concerns. Um, I had uh, a good discussion with President Bush on civilian casualties, and I'm uh, very happy to tell you that uh, President Bush uh, felt very much with the Afghan people, that um, he calls the Afghan people allies uh, in the war against her and friends, and uh, that um, he is um, as much concerned uh, as I am as, as the Afghan people are. I was very happy with that conversation. Now, a few weeks earlier, TPM Muckraker reporter Spencer Ackerman sat down with the ambassador from Afghanistan, Ambassador Jawad, and he raised the same issue. Take a look. Um, something our readers are very interested in that's come to the fore over the last several weeks uh, is the question of civilian casualties uh, in NATO operations. It's something that President Karzai has called uh, unacceptable. He said that he can't put up with it any longer. And there's been a U.S. brigade commander who in, in, in May apologized uh, for, for some uh, unintended consequences of military action. Um, to what degree can, can U.S. and NATO forces uh, avoid this issue in a greater uh, capacity than they have so far? It is a serious problem and it is completely unacceptable to the Afghan people, to the Afghan president, to the Afghan parliament. The fact that, that civilians are dying in large number in Afghanistan. You prevent uh, bigger damages if you use more human intelligence and if you have small, more mobile forces to deploy when you get a report of a Taliban or a terrorist in a small village, send a small group of commanders with helicopters to go there and catch him. He will be more of, of, of intelligence value than just bombing that, that house and, and, and thereby uh, risking uh, killing other people who might be in the neighborhood. So you have Barack Obama, President of the United States, President of Afghanistan, Ambassador from Afghanistan, coalition commanders on the ground in Afghanistan. Pretty much everybody's on the same page except for the ridiculous Mitt Romney. And if that's not enough, the Associated Press did a fact-checked article that came out right after this blow-up over Obama's statements to look at who's right, Barack Obama, Mitt Romney, who? They came up with Barack Obama because the facts just bear him out. So who's more ready to be president, who's more experienced, and who really should be issuing an apology? I'm Josh Marshall from TPM Media, and we'll talk to you next week.